Hi, my name is Nico, as you know. Um, I'm gonna be talking about the five sacred objects that I chose that's around my house. So the first one that I chose from my house is my cross necklace, which I got from my grandparents, which they lived in Italy at the time. And how it's really significant for me is because when they got it, when they got it from Italy, they got it actually blessed from an actual priest over there. So like that means a lot to me that like they like got it blessed by an actual priest and it's a big significance to me because uh, they passed away like when I was little so like it means a lot to me that like I got it there from there and it came here and um, it's just like special to me to remember them like how I remember them and like um, like it's totally legit and like it just means a lot from, from them because you know they're not here anymore So my second object that I chose was my rosary beads that I got from my godfather when I was first baptized. And why it's significant to me is because this was one of my first ever um, presents I got when I was first baptized. So it means a lot to me from that standpoint. So my third object that I chose is my cross that hangs over my bed. and. Why it's significant to me is because actually it was um, from my parents' wedding back in 1995 when I got married at All Saints Church and was actually uh, blessed by the priest himself. So uh, that's pretty significant in my household for that reason. And that also what I do before I go to bed is I usually look above it and I usually like pray for like if someone I know is like sick or is in need or has like cancer or something that I know of. I usually like do like a couple of Hail, Mar Hail Marys or, or so. And um, that's what I usually do before I go to bed sometimes. So my fourth object that I chose in my house is the Bible. And um, this Bible, I really don't know how I got it, but like it's a Bible, so. Um, how, I, how it's significant to me is that also when I go to bed, uh, usually sometimes what I do is I close my eyes and I just open it up and while I close my eyes I just put my finger on, on a certain page and I look at that verse and I read it a couple of times like we do in class and read a couple of verses and discuss about it. I kind of do something similar to that but to my own like style I guess so um, yeah like a Bible is you know it's really important to like learn about Jesus and like what he does and stuff and like it's really interesting about like the history that's in it too. The final item that I found in my house is a prayer card that I got from school um, some time ago. I don't really remember. But basically, like, why it's significant to me is because this guy, he talks about how he prays for a church, but not just for the church. He prays for, like, neighborhoods, parishes, schools, the community. It's like he doesn't he doesn't care if like, you're Catholic or not. He basically means that, like, he prays for, like, all of one people. Like, all of us are, like, one big whole community. And no matter who you are, like, what race or ethnicity, he'll pray for you, he'll care for you, he'll love you, he'll respect you, so it doesn't matter wh where you come from, as long as you're in that one community where he lives, he'll pray for you, and not just the community itself, but like the whole wide world, basically. God our Father, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to save us and lead us safely home. Ra ra raise up from among your people faithful sons and daughters suited to serve as priests and religious the pastoral and spiritual needs of your people. May the breath of the Holy Spirit inspire many in our parishes, schools, homes, and neighborhoods throughout the Church of Norwich to listen and respond generously to your special call, to be present to your people in their joy and in their sorrow, give your sons priestly hearts, your daughters hearts like Mary's, to teach your people 
and of faith give them disciplined minds to be examples of lives of prayer. Give them a first of full holiness. With your divine assistance, we pray that we may seek always to form our diocese into a vibrant community of faith. Amen. So thank you for tuning in to listening about my five objects that I chose around my house. Um, yeah, I hope you have a blessed day. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. So my third object that I chose in my house is my cross. That is... <laughs> Wait. Hope you have a very blessed day.